<laughs> Let's go. All right, what's up everyone? It's Travis here with Salerno Realty, AKA the Modern Realtor. And today we're gonna to be talking about something that is super important to me. It's whether or not a first time home buyer should use a realtor or if they should not. And I think the obvious question or the obvious answer I should say is, Obviously, yeah. So buying a home is extremely stressful, but such, uh, I can't explain it. It's such an exhilarating feeling. And it, you know, it's very important to make sure that you are being represented or you are being taken care of. In most cases, if you're a first time home buyer, you're putting every single cent, every single dollar that you've ever saved up into this home. It's your biggest investment. You're putting everything into this home and you better make sure that it's a perfect situation for you and your family. Obviously there's so many things, so many factors, moving parts that go into purchasing a home that it can be extremely stressful. So I would say you want to make sure that you're getting some sort of help when purchasing your first home. I mean, this can come from your parents or it can come from other people that you know that have purchased a home before or anyone who really just has experience in this field. Obviously, what I'm alluding to here is you should use a realtor. I'm a realtor. I don't know if you know that. Shameless plug, whatever you got to do. I am a realtor and I, I just want to say when I first bought my first home, I did not use a realtor and it was a new built home. I didn't talk to any realtor. I didn't do anything like that. And I really wish I did because there were certain things that were left out of the contract when the builder was explaining it to me. And for instance, I didn't know that I had bought a condo town home opposed to a just a freehold town home. I didn't know the difference. When I moved in and found out that I had to pay $250 to get my grass cut and all that kind of stuff, I mean, it's cool, but I would have chose not to do that. I would have chose to buy something that's freehold and be able to take care of my yard and everything on my own and save that $250 a month. Obviously, if you're wondering if you need to use a realtor, the obvious answer is no, you don't. Truthfully, most people are hesitant when using a realtor is because they want to save that money. They don't want additional costs when buying a home. But in most cases in Canada or around North America, the seller is the one who actually pays both sides. Honestly, I don't know why it's like that. I think it's still kind of weird, but still the seller pays both sides and the buyer pays nothing. When thinking about if you're going to use a realtor or not, I just don't know why people don't use a realtor. It's one of the only times that a service is completely free. Using it is kind of a no brainer to me. So in this video, we're going to look at some reasons why a first time home buyer or just any sort of buyer should use a real estate agent in the transaction of their first home. Get a little bit of this though. How's everyone doing, you know? Staying safe? I put a light here to give myself a little bit of that Goku, you know? That Goku look, all right? All right, so the first point that I like to talk about is have someone that is looking after your best interest. In most cases, if you're a buyer, you wanna go see the nice looking house. You know, the, the house that shows well in pictures, you're drawn into it, and guess what? The reason why that house looks great is because a realtor put those shots together, a realtor got that house staged, and a realtor paid a great photographer to take beautiful pictures. Now, I know there's also situations where they don't look good and realtors are still doing that. Uh, that's a whole nother point. I could talk about that all day. Use good photos, take good photos. I don't get why you don't do that. Oh. But regardless, most people are drawn to the houses that look the best, and most of the time, those houses that look the best are using realtors to represent their best interest. So these realtors are licensed professionals. Okay, they are licensed professionals and a lot of them have a lot of experience. So if you go to them directly without a realtor, they'll get a deal done. You'll get the house. But believe me, they're taking care of the best interests of their client. Their client is signed to them. And if they're helping you out too, you are just a customer. You are They have no fiduciary duties to you. Their job is to get the best deal for their client, who is the seller. So it's just nice to have a realtor represent your best interest. Just knowing that someone is going to war for you, it's just a little bit of peace of mind knowing that someone is actually looking after your best interest and is completely on your side. And this has never been more of the case, especially in the greater Toronto area. A lot of things are going for bidding wars. So if you don't have a great realtor on your side, I mean a great realtor, not a realtor who's just trying to get the deal done. Doesn't matter about how much you have to pay. They just want to get the deal done. A great realtor will help you in many different ways. And again, they'll help you save money in the long run. So just think about it. The next point is that a realtor will help you find a home that matches your budget 
and your needs. Navigating through Realtor.ca can be extremely tough sometimes. You know, the listing price is never usually what it actually is these days, and that might be because it's overpriced or it might be underpriced. Especially in our market, the Greater Toronto Area Market, GTA, what's up? <laughs> listing prices are never what they seem. You may see a house on Realtor.ca that looks like an absolute steal. Like, I mean, it's, it's just too good to be true. It's a detached home in Mississauga listed for just under $700,000. Like, come on, that's a steal. You book an appointment with the listing agent, fall absolutely in love with this house. When talking to your significant other, you come up with a game plan. Look, we really like this house. Let's not play any games. Let's give them almost what they want. Let's put in an offer at $6.95 and cross our fingers. When in reality, the listing agent informs you that they're holding offers in a couple days, they're expecting a little bit over than $1.2 million. Now, everything that you see within your budget will not look like this house. And it just kind of sucks because you got your hopes up and it just came crashing down. A realtor will help you avoid these situations because they'll do recent searches in neighborhoods just to give you an idea of what houses are actually selling for in these pockets. A realtor will help you avoid the heartbreak. And I mean, it's the same case with houses that are overpriced too. If you go directly to a house and the listing agent informs you that this house is priced perfectly and that every dollar is justified towards the listing price, when in reality, if you had a buyer agent, they would have searched the neighborhood and told you that the most recent sale, which was a nicer home, actually sold for $75,000 below this listing price. These are the type of things that get overlooked when looking at homes, but a buyer agent will look at these things and they'll help you avoid the mistakes of overpaying or even looking at things that are just not in your budget. The next point, which is a very important point, is that a buyer agent will give you insight on the neighborhoods that you're looking at. Depending on how long the realtor has been in the game, there's a good chance that they've done a lot of deals all around the area and they know which pockets are good and which pockets are bad. Most sellers are not going to disclose every little fact that goes on with the neighborhood, but if you have an agent that's been in the game for a while and they understand what's going on in the area they'll be able to tell you which neighborhoods are great what schools are great this neighborhood might have a nice park or this neighborhood might not be the best to raise a family in. hiring an agent who is an expert in the area is so important it's so valuable it'll help you be comfortable knowing that you can live there for a few years or longer if you'd like next having a buyer agent is so important for negotiating the offer. This is so important as a first time home buyer because believe me, they make these contracts so confusing that if you don't have someone looking after you and looking after your best interests, you might overlook some things that are sort of important when it comes to putting in an offer. The realtor can help explain every little piece in the document and they can help you if you have any questions. If something doesn't look right, ask the question and the realtor will be able to explain it or give you better insight on it. Also, it's just nice to have someone who is not as emotionally attached as you are. When it comes to a budget, a realtor will help you stick to that budget and help you from making the mistake of overpaying or going over your budget that you'd agreed on in the beginning. They will fight for every penny for you. And obviously, I can't speak for every single agent out there, but here at Salerno Realty, we literally go the extra mile for our clients. If it's $500, we will fight for it. And honestly, just having a great realtor, it can't be replicated. They're so valuable. So if you do ever have the opportunity to have one, I would highly recommend it. Go in, have someone represent you and take care of business. And finally, they just help with things behind the scenes. If you're like a regular person, you have a nine to five job and you can't focus on everything at the same time. It's very hard to balance everything. A realtor is dedicating 24 hours out of the day to you. They don't focus on anything else. Real estate is what they do and this is literally where all their time goes to. It can come in handy for many things. For example, if a home inspection comes back and there's a few things that need to be taken care of that cost a few hundred dollars, a realtor will go to the seller and say, hey, I need you to fix this and they'll save you a couple hundred dollars. It's not just that, they just go the extra mile for so many things, they have so many connections that in most cases you would have to balance everything on your own. They take care of everything and again, the best part of it is that it's completely free, like completely free. So in conclusion, I mean, a lot of people use realtors when buying. It's about 90% of people use realtors when buying because again, it's completely free, but you know, some people still do 
decide not to use realtors and it's simply just to try to save a few dollars. So I just highly suggest it, especially if you're a first time home buyer. And obviously not every single agent out there is going to be the best agent in the world, but most of the times they are licensed professionals. So if you have the opportunity to work with one, take it, interview a few of them just to make sure they have your best interest in mind. And again, I'm telling you, a great realtor can save you so much money over time. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Always punch the subscribe button. Sorry I missed last week. I had a huge abscess on my back. It got cut open, blah, 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 blah. I'm making excuses, but I was, I had surgery. It hurt. I'm not missing again. We did one whole month. I'm gonna do a breakdown, blah, 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 blah. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the support. We'll talk to you guys soon. Always. <laughs>